Okay. Um, a few years ago, like two years ago, I made a video called Total Biscuit, Don't Die, You Fucker. Right? And I made that in response to Total Biscuit announcing that he had cancer and the, doctor had, the doctors had only given him like uh, a few months to live. And in the video I said, Total Biscuit, don't die, you fucker, because where am I going to go to get my video game content if not for you? Uh, am, I, am I supposed to go to like the Polygon? Uh, I don't, I don't want to read Polygon. Polygon is shit. You know, there was a bit of satirical information there, but the, the point was pretty much that I didn't want Total Biscuit to die, and if you're going to fight, fucker, fight hard. And, well, it was announced a few days ago that Total Biscuit had died. And I didn't find out about it till a few days afterwards because I had unplugged from the internet for a bit as I go on my little business trips. Now, people always say that, oh, he was, such and such was a great person and oh, but, well, you know, the, the great people and blah. And I, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know if Total Biscuit was a great person. I know he, I think he did his job, right? I think Total Biscuit did his job. He had a family, and as a man, he took care of that family. And I, I don't know if he ever wanted more than that. I know he liked rock music, and I know he enjoyed gaming to a large degree. So, for for pretty much what I can speak on is just how. Total Biscuit influenced me. And in my life, right, there are very few people that I hold in, like, really high regard when it comes to, like, gaming. Total Biscuit was one for his outspoken nature and what he tried to invoke into gaming. And Adam Sessler was another. Now, I'm not going to say that I agreed with Adam Sessler all the time or that I agreed with Total Biscuit all the time because that would be a fucking lie. I, I disagree with them vehemently on several occasions. But the point of me saying that I disagree with them is the fact that Total Biscuit was a fan and always tried to promote rational thinking, right? He didn't usually just dismiss something offhand as the ravings of a loon. Instead, he tried to come from a place of understanding. If you and him had a difference of opinion, he would try to get his point across, but at the same time, while trying to understand why you had the opinions that you had. Or at least that's the message I took from me watching him from, for all this time. And I try to imitate that in my daily life of no matter what's happening, when someone when someone says something that I believe is dumb, I try not to just dismiss dismiss them offhand. Unless it's something crazy like some random dude running up to me telling me that he is Jesus. Then yeah, you dismiss that you, you throw that, that loon away with the trash. But okay, I'm gonna give this example because wow has it come at a good time. My best friend of like 20 something years, right, has come out to me like this is this happened like two days ago has has come to me and out of freaking nowhere. He just told me his confession of he believes the earth is flat and he believes that people never landed on the moon. And I'm like, wow, where did this come from now? If this was me in the past, I would have just looked at him like a, like, like a, you know, like a loon. I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying my best. I'm trying not to curse. I, would, I look, I look at him just like a loon, right? Like you've, you've lost your mind. What's going on, right? But rational thinking that I like to think that I put more emphasis on now because of Total Biscuit. Let me down the road of, okay, you believe this. Please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Because maybe somewhere in your way of thinking, I can try to find out why you believe this. And you know, we can have a discussion. Uh, I never thought I'd have a discussion with anyone trying to convince them that the world is round. But 
here I am. And I like to thank Total Biscuit, you know, for giving me the patience and the, I don't know what other word to use, but wow, that was impressive. Anyway, yeah, Total Biscuit has been a great influence. Now, I can't say he's been a great influence on my channel because my channel is trash. And I, I purposely make it that way because I'm just having fun. But every now and again, I'll lose my mind and I'll make something that actually has introspective into it. And I like the thing that he influenced it about. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't know if this, <laughs> this video is doing any good or, or anything. It's just me ranting about. I'm trying to see, when did I first discover Total Biscuit? His uh, content. Oh, that had to be a long time ago, like 2008, when he was doing the War, uh, World of Warcraft stuff. Or, uh, no, no, a podcast. The podcast. Uh, that's when I first met him. And I went through some of his old content. And I think I watched that whole him and Jesse Cox Terraria bit all the way through in like two to three days. I was laughing my ass off. Oh, the elevator part two. Oh, I love that. It was, it was too bad. I mean, if it wasn't for Total Biscuit, what games would I never have given a shot? I I never would have played Far Cry, but Blood Dragon, if not for him. So I never would have played Far Cry 3 either. Um, because of that video with Jesse that he made, I, I played Terraria. Ah, so many games. I'm trying to see it. Like, anyway, like, see, now, once again, I'm just rambling on. Anyway, yeah, I got, I got nothing else. I mean, I can whine and complain about it, but... Sucks that he's gone. Pretty much it. Sucks. Fucking sucks. The dude was intelligent and forward thinking most of the time. <laughs> Once again, I oh boy, I disagree with him on a lot of shit. Anyway, but eh, he had that fucker had his opinions and well, I had mine. Anyway, yeah, man, Total Biscuit has finally passed. Two years past his expiration date, apparently, because he kept fighting. Uh, anyway, man. Rock on, Total Biscuit. Rock the fuck on.